So we are now at stage eight, paragraph page 607. Okay, and our last head word was lo lose control, new word type of lesson. Okay, so let's start with revision. Ready? Okay. Here we go. When you post a letter, do you take it to the post office or do you just put it in the nearest post box? When you post a letter, do you take it to the post office or do you just put it in the nearest post box? When I post a letter, when when I post a letter, I just put it. I just put it in the nearest post box. In the nearest post box. Very good. Where do we find a letter box? Where do we find a letter box? We find a letter we box. Find a letter box in a front door. In the front door. Front door. Front door. <coughs> front door. Very good. If you can't manage to answer a question, what does the teacher do? If you can't manage to answer a question, what does the teacher do? If I can't manage if I can't to answer manage a question, to the answer teacher a question. helps me. The teacher helps me. Very good. What does a manager do? What does a manager do? A manager. Manages a, manager. a business manager. or a business. part of a business or part of that is, a business. He makes that is. important decisions. He makes important decisions about how the business about how operates. A, the business operates. Uh, operate. Very good. Which do you think is better to possess, brains, beauty, or money? Which do you think is better to possess, brains, beauty, or money? I think. I think it's better to possess. It's better to process brains. Brains. Why? Why? Because. Because. If you have if, brains. If you have brains. You can earn money. You you can earn money. Very good. What can we make from corn? What can we make from corn? We can make bread. We can make bread. Cereal. Cereal. And many other types. And many other types of food from corn. Of, of food from corn. Very good. Okay, next. What do we do with weeds in a garden? What do we do with weeds in a garden? We pull weeds. We pull weeds. Out weeds. of a garden. Out of a garden. And either burn them. And either burn them. Or throw them away. Or throw them away. Very good. Okay. What does the idiom just the job mean? What does the idiom just the job mean? The idiom The idiom just the job means just the job means exactly exactly what is needed. What is needed. Give me an example. Give me an example please. That trip. That trip to the countryside to the countryside last weekend. Last weekend was just the job. What's the, the what's the just what's job. just the job what's just are what's just just the job. job i feel so relaxed now i feel so relaxed now very good okay next do you like people who are always laughing and joking do you like people who are always laughing and joking yes or no yes i like people i like people who are always who are all laughing ones. and joking Laughing and joking. Very good. Can you tell us a joke? Can you tell us a joke? Yes or no? Yes. I can tell you. I can tell a you. Joke. A joke. Very good. Okay. What am I pretending to do? What am I pretending to do? You're pretending. You're pretending. To play the piano. To play the piano. Very good. When children play together, do they often pretend to be adults? When children play together, do they often pretend to be adults? Yes. Yes. When children play when children together, play together. They often pretend. They often pretend to be adults. To be adults. Very good. If you see someone you know in the street, but you're in too much of a hurry to stop and say hello, do you sometimes pretend not to notice them? If you see someone you know in the street, but you're in too much of a hurry to stop and say hello, do you sometimes pretend not to notice them? Yes or no? Yes. If I see someone. If I see someone I know in the street. I know in the street. But I'm in too much. But I'm in too much. Of a hurry. To of stop. A hurry. 
and say hello. And to say hello. To stop and say hello. To stop and say hello. I sometimes pretend. I sometimes pretend. Not to notice them. Not to notice them. Very good. Okay, next. What do we have to put on an envelope before posting a letter? What do we have to put on an envelope before posting a letter? We have to put. We have to an put address, an address, and a stamp, and a stamp on an envelope, on an envelope before posting a letter. Before posting a letter. Well, if you write the address on the envelope but leave out the postcode, will the letter still arrive? If you write the address on the envelope but leave out the postcode, will the letter still arrive? Yes. If yes. I write the if address. I write. The address on the envelope, on the envelope, but leave out the postcode. But, but leave out the postcode. The letter will still arrive. The letter will still arrive. But it may take longer. But it may take longer. Very good. What am I pretending to do? What am I pretending to do? You're pretending. You're pretending to stamp to a stamp piece of paper. A piece of paper with a stamp. With the stamp. Very good. Would you find it difficult to behave naturally if you met someone really famous? Would you find it difficult to behave naturally if you met someone really famous? Yes or no? Yes. I'd find it difficult. I find it difficult to behave naturally. To behave naturally. If I met someone. If I met someone really famous. Really famous. Very good. What do I mean if I say naturally she was pleased about passing the test? What do I mean if I say naturally she was pleased about passing the test? If you say, if you say naturally, naturally she was pleased. She was pleased about passing the test. About passing the test. You mean of course. You mean of course. She was pleased. She was pleased about passing the test. About passing the test. Very good. What What is the most recent film you've seen? What is the most recent film you've seen? The most the recent most film. Recent film. I've seen is. I've seen is. Conan. Conan. Very good. What was it like? That is. Was it good, bad, or just so-so? What was it like? That is. Was it good, bad, or just so-so? It was. It was. Good. Very good. Have you been to any concerts recently? Have you been to any concerts recently? Yes or no? No. I haven't been. I haven't been to any concert to recently. Any concert recently. Very good. What can we say instead of the word friend in very informal English? What can we say instead of the word friend in very informal English? We can say mate. We can say mate instead of instead the of word friend. The word friend in very informal english in very informal english what's a housemate or flatmate what's a housemate or flatmate a housemate a housemate or flatmate or flatmate is someone is someone who we live with who we live who, with who we live with very good do you know the names of all your classmates do you know the names of all your classmates yes or no Yes. I know the names. I know the name of all my classmates. Of all my classmates. Very good. If you thought one of your workmates was stealing money from the company you work for, what would you do? If you thought one of your workmates was stealing money from the company you work for, what would you do? If I thought. If I thought. One of my workmates. One of my workmates. Was stealing money. Was stealing money. From the company. From the company I work for, I work for. I'd, I'd, us. Tell my boss. Tell my boss. Very good. Is there anything you're really looking forward to doing at the moment? Is there anything you're really looking forward to doing at the moment? No, there no. isn't anything. There isn't anything. I'm really looking I'm forward. I'm really looking forward to doing to at doing. the moment. At the moment. Very good. What kind of things do you look forward to most? What kind of things do you look forward to most? The kind of things. 
that kind of thing. I look forward. I look forward to most are to most are vacations, vacations and holidays. And holidays. Very good. What does the expression "let me see" mean? What does the expression "let me see" mean? The expression. The expression. Let me see means. Let me see means. Give me time to give think. Give me time to think for a minute. For a minute. Very good. On what kind of occasions do we use it? On what kind of occasions do we use it? We use it you, you, on occasions. On occasions. When we are thinking. When we are thinking about something. About something. And we are not. And we are not completely sure. Completely sure of the answer. Of the answer. Very good. Okay. If you were the owner of a business and one of your workers stole something from the business, would you give them a second chance or would you dismiss them at once? If you were the owner of a business and one of your workers stole something from the business, would you give them a second chance or would you dismiss them at once? If I were the owner, I were the owner of a business, of a business and one, and one of my workers, of my workers stole something, from the business from the business i dismiss them at once i i dismiss them at once why why because, because i cannot trust them i cannot trust them trust them anymore anymore very good next supposing there was a place shall we say in the middle of a jungle in south america where we knew for sure that there was about 50 million pounds worth of gold but the chances of returning alive were only 50-50. Would you go and take a chance and try your luck, or would you just stay home and dream about it? Supposing there was a place, shall we say somewhere in the middle of a jungle in South America, where you knew for sure that there was about 50 million pounds worth of gold, but the chance of returning alive were only 50-50. Would you go and take a chance and try your luck, or would you just stay at home and dream about it? Supposing. Supposing there was a place, there, there was a place. Shall, shall we say, shall we say somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle of a jungle, of a jungle in South America, in South America, where I knew for sure, where I knew for sure that there was about that there was about fifty million pounds, fifty million pounds worth of gold. Was of gold, but the chances, but the chances of returning, of returning alive were only, alive were only fifty fifty, fifty fifty. I take a chance. I take a chance and try my luck. And try my luck. Why? Why? Because, because I love adventure. I love adventure. Very good. Okay, next. What am I doing? What am I doing? You're whistling. You are whistling. Very good. Many years ago, did humans have to hunt animals for food? Many years ago, did humans have to hunt animals for food? Yes. Yes. Many years ago. Many years ago. Humans had humans to hunt. Had to hunt animals for food. Animals for food. Very good. Why should we judge a person by his deeds more than by his words? Why should we judge a person by his deeds more than by his words? We should judge a, we person, should judge a person by his deeds, by his deeds more than by his words. More than by his words. Because it's easier. Because it's easier to say things. To say things. Than to do them. Than to do them. Very good. What do we use Greece for? What do we use Greece for? We use Greece. We use grease to make to make the different parts the different parts of a machine of a machine moves smoothly. Moves smoothly. Very good. What do we use to pair scissors for? What do we use a pair of scissors for? We use to use a pair of scissors. A pair of scissors. For cutting paper, etc. Cutting paper, etc. Very good. Okay. If we were in a bus going downhill and the driver suddenly lost control of the bus, what did you do? 
if you're in a bus going downhill and the driver suddenly lost control of the bus, what did you do? If I were if in I a was. bus, in a bus going downhill, going downhill, and the driver suddenly, the driver suddenly lost control, lost control of the bus, of the bus, I try, I try to take control of the to bus, take control of the bus, etc. Etc. Very good. Okay, so that's the end of our revision. Let's have new word. Okay, repeat. Do. Do. Yeah, with the letter D. Do. Do. Do to. Do to. Do to. We're gonna get listen. The word do is an adjective. It is something that is required or expected to happen. You are expected to be in a particular place or a particular time. For example. I pay my electricity bill every 30th of the month, or my bill are due every 30th of the month. I'm due to come here five days a week, from Monday to Friday. Due to used to give a reason. It means because of something, for example. Trains don't always arrive when they are due because of bad weather, breakdown, etc. Or trains don't always arrive when they are due due to bad weather, breakdowns, etc. When a person is rich, I think it's because of the fact that they're more intelligent than other people. Or, when a person is rich, I think it's due to the fact that they're more intelligent than other people. Okay, let's practice. What might happen if you didn't pay your electricity bill when it was due? What might happen if you didn't pay your electricity bill when it was due? If I... Didn't pay, I didn't pay my electricity bill. My electricity bill when it bill. was due. When it was due, they might come. They might come and cut. And cut the electricity off. The electricity off. Where did, when are you due to come here again? When are you due to come here again? I'm due. I'm due to come here again. To come here again. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Get, why don't trains always arrive when they are due? Why don't trains always arrive when they are due? Trains, trains don't always arrive. Don't always arrive when they are due. When they are because due. of bad weather. Because of bad weather. Breakdowns, etc. Break, breakdowns, etc. Very good. When a person is rich, do you think it's due to the fact that they're more intelligent than most other people? Or do you think it's mainly due to luck? When a person is rich, do you think it's due to the fact they're more intelligent than most other people? Or do you think it's mainly due to luck? When a person is, when rich, a person is rich, I think, I think it's due, it's due, uh, luck. due to luck. Due to luck. Very good. Okay, next repeat. Grandmother. Grandmother. Grandfather. Grandfather. Great grandmother. Grand great, great grandmother. Great grandfather. Great grandfather. Very good. Okay, listen. The word grandmother is a noun. It is the mother of your father or your mother. Grandfather is a noun. It is the father of your father or your mother. Great grandmother is a noun. It is your grandmother's mother or your grandfather's mother. Great grandmother is a noun. It, it is your grandfather's father or your grandmother's father. Let's practice. Were your grandmothers both born in the same country as you? Were your grandmothers both born in the same country as you? Yes or no? Yes. My grandmothers My were both born. Were born. Were both born. Were oh, so both. Were well, both. Yeah, very good. Well, like your two grandmother, both, both of them, were both born. Were both born in the same country. In the same as country. Me. As me. Very good. What do we call our grandfather's father? What do we call our grandfather's father? We call our we call grandfather's father. Our grandfather's father. Father. Father's father. Our great grandfather. Our great grandfather. Very good. Next repeat. Mostly. Mostly. 
Very good. Okay, listen. The word mostly is an adverb. It means almost all or almost completely. For example, the people in my country are mostly coffee drinkers. It means that almost all the people in my country are coffee drinkers. Okay, let's practice. Are the people in your country mostly tea drinkers or coffee drinkers? Are the people in your country mostly tea drinkers or coffee drinkers? The people, the people in my country in my country are mostly are mostly tea drinkers. Drinkers. Very good. Do you think that passing exams is mostly a question of luck? Do you think that passing exams is mostly a question of luck? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. uh, do you think passing exam is just luck or do you need to review? Oh. Yes or no? It, um, yes. I think that. I think that passing exam. Pass, passing is a is exam. mostly. Is mostly a question of luck. A question of luck. Very good. Okay, so now let's move on to reading. Okay, okay. so our reading is at stage seven, paragraph page five hundred and twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay, last head word was talking. Okay, start with the head word damage. Damage. Okay. Hi. Damage. If you borrowed a friend's bicycle and damaged it in an accident, would you pay to have it fixed? 